Hey, welcome to Life with Colonel Lee. I'm Colonel Lee. Today we're going to take a look at some trucking poles from Iamea. When you order a set of trucking poles from Iamea, it comes in this really nifty little carry bag. It has a tensioner arm or shoulder strap <coughs> and also has a drawstring to keep all your goodies in. So let's open this bag up and see what all we get. There's one trucking pole. Trucking pole. And kind of a pamphlet here. It shows you how to use your pole. Gives you information. Gives you recommended uh, height for poles, you know, according to the height of the person that's using it. <clears throat> so basically when you're using the trucking poles, you want kind of a 90 degree angles with your elbows there. So the trucking pole in your hand, a 90 degree angle. Let's see what else we got. So we have different feet for the poles here. We got a little baggy. Uh, we have several options here for the end of your trucking pole, the tips. So let's let's get one of the poles open here. You get a nice little Velcro strap to kind of hold it together, and then you just dangle it down like that. <clears throat> so it's pretty thick shock cord here, and it is lined with a good durable plastic. So, <clears throat> breaks down into three sections. So it's a pretty small, compact section here. Let's see how long that is. So that's about 14 inches right there. <clears throat> so it packs down pretty small. That little Velcro strap, you can hold it all together. Attach, attach it to your backpack, or if you need it, just pull it out here. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> there's release that little valve, pull this shaft, shaft in here. So we need to pull this out until we see a little tab come out. There it is right there. So that little tab, once that tab comes out and clicks, now all this shot cord in here will be tight and keep this all together so that's not coming loose. <clears throat> so you get a nice... Uh, Kind of cork grip here and for the hand grip it's a nice cork that's uh <clears throat> makes a comfortable grip and when your hands are wet or sweaty you get better grip with that cork plus it dries out better than uh, versus a rubberized or a plastic grip <clears throat> so you get the little hand strap here So this is going to be your adjusting height right here. Once you lock the rest of the pole into place, that locks in really well. That's nice, sturdy right there. <clears throat> it's a nice looking trucking pole. All right, let's take a look at the grips or for the tips. So this is really good for when you're really needing to dig in, <clears throat> like maybe muddy slippery situations, maybe ice or something. <clears throat> you can really dig in with that tip right there. <clears throat> and if you're just doing a casual hike, your trucking poles, you know, just nice sandy, dirt, hard pack. Just use these regular grips right here. <clears throat> and it looks like you get an extra pair of the regular tip grips. In case you lose one <clears throat> and then also you get two different size grip tips here <clears throat> so this could be for if you need a little bit wider base 
maybe a little sandy conditions or something. You can put that on there and just creates a little wider base for you to grab into. <clears throat> These tips really go on really well, so I don't think you're gonna be losing these anytime soon. <clears throat> so this one here, this is almost like a tire or a sole of a shoe here. This is really good for rocky conditions. So when you're traversing up some rocks, you know, kind of doing some switchbacks, this will definitely get you some good grip on some rocks. And possibly even wet surfaces help you get some good grip. Then you also get the little, these are kind of like little snow skirts. So they just screw on to there. <clears throat> and then you can put any of the tips that you want. So makes it pretty nice. And then you also get a different wider skirt. That's probably maybe more for mud. This is going to be your snow skirt. <clears throat> so when you're trucking in the snow, this just kind of helps keep that up on top of the snow, a wider base. <clears throat> and then you can just put your whichever tip you want like that. So that works pretty good. And these little skirts, they do screw on, so it's not going to be playing up and down and messing with your tip on here so really not really locks it away pretty nice there so you get all that <clears throat> with this trekking pole and <clears throat> it's pretty easy to break it down you just press in that button with your thumb slide that in And then you just Velcro the strap. That Velcro strap is uh, pretty beefy. It grips pretty good. <laughs> okay, there you go. Very nice. You know, I may have put out, puts out some really good quality products at a very budget friendly price. So the weight of the entire setup, that's the bag with all the different feet and skirts and the pamphlet inside and then having the two poles in the bag. So all that together weighs 1.78 pounds. If you just leave everything behind except for the poles and whatever feet you have, I have the bulky uh, feet there. So this weighs 1.38 pounds. So just a tad over a pound. That's not bad, and it uh, doesn't take up a whole lot of space, easily attached to the outside of your backpack, or even shove it into your backpack. So if you're looking for a good trekking pole, a good quality, budget-friendly trekking pole, definitely check out IAMEA. There'll be a link in the description box below, with along with a promo code. <clears throat> so go check that out, and enjoy your IAMEA trekking poles.